Hi and welcome to my playhouse and this is the first video in over 10 years ish um, <laughs> last week I did a video on the Geekcom this is a tiny PC um, that was a sponsored video well they have kind of still sent me this for free so I don't know it might still be a sponsored video but I got some good um, comments on that video and one of them was uh, was that you really don't lose much uh, performance in running unbalanced memory configurations on this so um, yeah I thought oh, we can try that I still have the setup over here I still have the the cables ready to go at my at my setup here so so it would be very little effort to test this out uh, on top of this someone suggested that I should be able to go into the BIOS and configure this to not be in performance mode uh, and that would give me less fan noise and that might be smart but for testing the performance of the RAM it would be very stupid for me to start messing with that before we are done with the other stuff so what I am dreaming of doing is to connect it as is uh, right now there is two 8 gigabytes uh, DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM blocks in here and we'll get a, a benchmark uh, of how it's doing right now then I think I might take one of the blocks out and do a benchmark again and then we might put in this 16 gigabyte block and do a benchmark again and see uh, what the difference is if we are losing a lot of performance by doing that and the performance I'm talking about is not memory performance it's actually CPU performance so running an unbalanced the RAM configuration in a PC should take some performance out of the CPU. I don't know how it gets busy doing other things, but it does. And I have seen this on servers and it can be a, a lot. I have seen up to 25% decrease on the CPU performance just having an unbalanced RAM configuration. So uh, let's check it out. So very easy to connect over here. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in this product, I mentioned that it was 449 euros. And when I posted to the to the Geekcom that I was ready to post the video, they sent me the coupon code. So uh, I was kind of stupid. I would have liked to mention in the last video the, that there was a coupon code for it. So you get 30 euros off or 30 dollars. I forgot what they said. But uh, yeah, there will be some coupon codes in the in the in the description. There, I've also added them to last week's video. So if you if you're interested in this, you you get it cheaper. I don't know if thirty euros makes much of a difference, but well, it's thirty euros off that you don't have to pay. This is keyboard and mouse, and then we turn it on, and it's power on. And I need to I need to ask my screens here to. Uh, to do HDMI instead. Oh, I uh, forgot to test. Forgot to set. Okay. Okay. There we are. Boot rather quickly. Let's see if the keyboard is on. It is. There we are. So I did run some tests last week on the initial video I'm just gonna do it again I want this test so Cinebench just because it's very visual like on video it looks good like it does something so um, we're gonna run the multi-core setup just run it and I have made a um, made a little note here that I'm gonna put the results in and Go away and I'll let this run uh, let's I'll let it make three of these and see how it does so while it's running very hard on number two here you might be able to hear the fan noise it isn't that bad considering that it's working uh, full throttle so uh, the Lenovo over here is at least as noisy when it's working full throttle 
But when it's not doing anything, the Lenovo is very quiet. And at the moment, I wouldn't even be able to hear it if it's on or not. So, yeah. Okay, we are on the last little bit. If we watch down here, it says that this is pass number three. So when it's done, we're gonna we're gonna take the number up here. Let's see. But now it's completing. Don't stress it by moving the mouse there. And it has started pass number four. Uh, this keeps dropping for every pass I've seen. It started out being. 8200 and something then it was 8100 and now it's I'm gonna take it after three passes just to get and we'll do the same thing with the other ones so that's 8052 cool so the next one I want to get a number from is uh, pass mark and we're just gonna test the CPU so all of them let's get a number out of that and run there we get a number of 16,898 okay that's what we need I'll shut it down and we'll mess with the RAM <laughs> so we have uh, we have the, the geek come here on the world stage so let's I think some of these feet I got tightened a little bit too much I only finger tighten them, but well, I couldn't finger untighten them again, so apparently that was too much. So now we can take this up. If we lay it over there. Okay, it's better that way. So, I am guessing that it's the top one that we would want to remove. There. Let's take that out. Put this back in. Maybe I don't even have to tighten it down. I don't know. Let's, let's just do a little bit. Okay, it's back up. Oh, where did that come from? Go away. And we have eight gigabytes of RAM. So now I only have um, like one of the blocks occupied. So let's see how that performs. Okay, we are almost done on the third pass here. So let's see how it did. And it will start the fourth pass in Windows back when it since black then that go so now over here it says 7650 so that is less than the other one 7650 so it's still the same CPU but because the RAM has changed it has gone down in performance we will stop this and we will stop the other test this one Yes, yes, and I am just running the trial version, so continue. Okay, so I ran that, and now it only scores 15,069, and before it was 16,898. It almost went down 2,000 points. We're done, let's put in some other RAM. Okay, so we need to put this block in, and to do that, I need to get it out of the... Oh, that's gonna be easy. Uh, out of the box. There. Uh, I kind of want to put it in as RAM block number one. I don't know. I just have a tendency that the largest RAM block is the first one in the system. So, I don't know why I want that, but I want that. So, let's, let's do that. I don't know if you have it like me, that that's... Just how it has to go and then we'll put in the 8 gigabyte down here so we should get up to 24 gigabytes and we need to put this back in and it needs to go in like that and we are good to screw that in 
be good to screw up. There's nothing wrong with that picture. So let's see if we get the amount of RAM that we are expecting. If it says something else, it does. Yeah, we are good to go. Let's test that. And uh, we will need to go to Tenman Cinebench. And it takes a bar, it takes a while to run this, so uh, I'll I'll give you the results. Okay, we are just about there. We are now on the fourth pass. So let's see what the number says over here. Put the mouse on top of it and it says uh, 7,834. So it's a bit better. 7,834. And we are just about done with uh, performance mark. Oh, that does very well. That's, that's a weird one. That does even better. Mm. Okay. So I have had the big calculator out and uh, you can see 8 plus 8 gigabytes of RAM gave us those results 8052, 16800 blah 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 and I've put that at 100% performance then if I took a RAM block out we got those results and that ended me out giving me 95% and 89.2% uh, performance so that's quite a decrease in performance with the less RAM then if we put in 16 gigabytes and then 8 gigabytes we get uh, 97 percent uh, 0.3 and then at pass mark I got a hundred point three percent so ah, I don't like that last one that, that it ruins my math I have changed back to the 8 plus 8 gigabytes of RAM and I've opened Task Manager here. Uh, what I found is that just when you start up the PC it's doing all kind of crap. Now it has actually quieted down quite a bit. Look at that, like suddenly it's doing like 16% of the CPU and then it's down to 2 and yeah. I don't know, I might have tested the 8 plus 8 uh, when it was busy doing all kind of stuff because the server, well, the PC had been off for a week. So maybe it had to um, to call in to, to Microsoft and tell them how much I've been neglecting it. I don't know, but I'm gonna try and run this test again and see if, if it beats the other one. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. Yeah, it, it did actually do a lot better now for no reason other than it has had time to settle down. So with that new uh, pass mark number in, my math looks a lot better. So now this is 100% and that makes it 86.5% uh, with the 8 plus 0 RAM. And both of those down here is 97.3% kind of um, interesting so you lose like 2.7 percent if you mix a 16 and an 8 gigabyte of RAM so yeah trying to get into the BIOS and we succeeded okay so it says that fan mode is normal mode oh I don't have a mouse can I do we can go in there we can we can make it into quiet mode so mine wasn't I've seen other people that it was in performance mode and we can make it quiet mode there good uh, we need to save and exit so that's f4 there save and exit go go gadget yeah so far it's quiet so um It's still, it's, I can still hear it though. This is what I mean, I've just booted it and the processor is working like 42% on doing mostly nothing like malware thinky service established and Microsoft Teams. I don't I really, shouldn't really have it on this machine so yeah, 100% CPU usability doing nothing, 
So that was what I meant. I might have started the testing before it had quieted down. So I I waited a little bit this time. There. Oh, we are. It has quieted down a little bit. Still doing weird shit. Okay, so it might seem right that you're not losing as much as on a server, but I do see on the numbers here that if I just ran one of those 8 gigabyte blocks in there, I would lose like 23.5% on the CPU performance. And it's not all up to just having less RAM. That doesn't really affect the CPU that much. Uh, but putting in the 16 gigabyte blocks together with the 8 gigabyte blocks seems to help. It's probably at a point where I would say that those two and a half percent that you lose, isn't it? Oh, it's 2.7 percent that you lose. It doesn't matter much, um, except if you were going out and you were buying the most expensive CPU because you want a top performance on that CPU, that would be where it might be very stupid to get that premium priced CPU and then not balance the RAM because you might lose some percentage there and yeah that would be a waste of money. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. We learned something, balance the RAM, you get more CPU power out of it. If you want one of those do remember that there is now coupon codes in the in the description thank you so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again please remember to give the video a like down there and have a really nice day bye bye